Okay, welcome to this PHP Basics tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain uh, the PHP session and some, well, that's it, the session. Um, basically, what the session is, is kind of a, um, it's, mm, it's a sort of a way you can store temporary data um, that will last. The idea of um, the name of the session is sort of for the user's session, like while they're on your website, this data will, will exist. It's not quite like that because you can have it stay around forever, but um, yeah. So the session is sort of a place you can store variables, information about the user or about anything at all, um, and they will sort of be persistent throughout your website. Um, for any page you start up the session on, you'll be able to access these variables. So they're sort of cross-page variables, I suppose you could say as well. Um, I'll just demonstrate with a few examples, I think. Uh, I've got these two pages in and out. Um, I'm just going to open up the out page. And I've also got them here. So let's just open up those files. Um, the Both of them are just blank HTML templates. So in the out page, what we are going to do is at the top, I'm going to start a new PHP block. And in that block, we're going to call session start session start function is a bit necessary to use the session um, basically what this function does is it gets the current session data from however you've set it up to store usually it's files so if you say so um, basically session data is stored in a file so what the session start function does is get that data out of the file and populate the session variable which we'll talk about in a minute it also sets up a function to run when PHP when the script ends basically uh, and that function takes any changes to the session variable and writes them to the um, file that we're using to store the data so yeah when you're using the session call session start um, this function does need to send some sort of headers so as with any function that needs to send needs to send headers you can't call it after any output that will result in an error Count send session cache limiter headers already sent output blah 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 and tells you where the output is, has started which is kind of handy um, output started at the file name and then after the semi after the colon it's line the line number so line twelve okay so um, that's that so what we're going to do is put that back um, I want to explain the reason why that is true in the for this video because I want to keep it short and just about the session so if you feel like you need to know you can look it up on php.net um, the page for the header function has some good information on why that is like that and a few ways around it as well the best way around it is obviously just to reorder your code so that headers come first but there are some workarounds you can use um, anyway I won't talk about those for now okay so the session um, the session is a super global variable um, that variable specifically the most common thing to do with that variable is to um, use it as an array so you would store like elements for example test equals rand I don't know why um, Random rand function, by the way, is a random number generator. It'll generate a random number. Um, so yeah, just in case you don't know what that is. Um, what that will do. Um, the mm, the te terminology for this is a little bit odd. Usually, sort of this as a whole with the key is referred to as a session variable. Um, what it actually is is an element in the session array. But I'm going to call them session variables. Uh, I think that's what most PHP developers do. <laughs> PHP.net certainly does. I think. Maybe not. If not, I'm doing it anyway. Tough. Okay, so um, what we've done here is store a random number in the session variable test. So what we can do then is output that. So say we can do um, just in some paragraph tags. We can have oops, PHP echo session test if I reload the page you see we get random numbers just forever um, so that's that although obviously 
using the session for this is a bit pointless because obviously this would work with any other variable. Um, so um, to demonstrate the purposes of, purposes of the session, that's why we have these two files. Um, so if, say if I now go to in.php and basically do the same thing, so I'm just going to copy this whole file, but removing the setting part of it. So now we, oh dear, that's made a huge mess. Yeah, so now all we're doing is starting a new session and then trying to output this variable um, like so. So if I just, just remember this number, if I now go to in, so you get the same output. Even though the in.php file hasn't generated this number, it's just recalled it from the session. So that's how the session, that's what the session is for, effectively. It, um, it's a cross page variable. You can use it on any of your PHP pages as long as you call session start first. Um, without this session start, if I just uh, comment this out and reload the page, we get this message uh, undefined variable session. So PHP will not populate the session variable. Um, that will have no value unless you call session start. So, yep, yeah, that's why we're getting that. Um, Oops, go back, back to it, same number you see. So basically what we have at the moment is out. I've actually done these backwards. In was supposed to generate the number, put it in the session, and out was meant to output it, but oh well, never mind. So this out file uh, is generating a number. Actually, let's open menu tabs. That'll be easier. Okay, so this page recalls a variable uh recalls some information that this page is generating like so so that is pretty much the session um its sort of general uses are to um like login systems uh good use for them um sort of user tracking you can track which page the user is on without having to have things in the get um part of the u r l the query string um you can use them for well anything you need to. Uh, yeah, just tracking user sessions, login—the only two I can think of. Um, well, I suppose I should briefly mention removing a session variable. Say if you want to get this out of the session, you can just use the unset function as usual for a variable unset. And what that will do is remove the variable. So if we do this now, we'll get a message: notice, notice undefined index test because we've removed this. And the same thing will happen. If I remove this as well, because there is no session variable there. I'm not open that many tabs. <laughs> um, so yeah, this page is now saying that the session variable test doesn't exist. If we reload our other page and then go back to this page that had the error and reload that, the, error, the number comes back because the session variable has been reset. Uh, so that is pretty much it for the session. Um, it's very, very useful one of PHP's most useful features. It's incredibly easy to work with. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, this is a super global. So say if you made a function, function example echo session test and then you called this function here like so and hit reload. See it still works. Um, Super global is accessible um, in any scope, basically. So you, don't, you wouldn't have to like, you don't have to do that, which looks silly. Actually, what will that do? Nothing. Um, so yeah, uh, PHP, uh, P in PHP, the session variable is a super global. So you don't need to define it as global to use it inside a function. So yeah, that is. That is actually it for the session. Um, hopefully you found this useful uh, and thank you for watching.